Hey, what is my family and friends doing tonight here on YouTube? I am Doug Paulson. I am back again. And what I wanted to do is show off some of the uh, belt buckles that I had gotten from uh, over the years. Some of them were uh, given to me, um, as well as uh, ones that I had gotten like at different sales. Now, uh, two or three of them that I have, uh, I'm basically um, are definitely holding on to. Uh, basically, one of my sisters. Uh, not one that was on last night, but another one of my sisters when her fiance had passed away. Um, and she asked me if I wanted some of his, uh, belt buckles and I was like, definitely honored to have them. And some of these are older. I'm not sure if one of them is a newer style or not. Robbie Paudel, buddy, how, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I go. Um, but yeah, what I have is a whole bunch of, um, uh, wrenches and there are not wrenches, but just, uh, Captain, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, let's see. Oh, man, I hate my phone. I do, I do, I do. Hopefully, it's still working okay. It is not working. I hate this thing. I tell you, <laughs> Cap, I'm going to throw this damn phone. <laughs> but, uh, no, I've, I've got uh, um, a few of these belt buckles, like I say, over the years, and some were given to me from uh, somebody uh, who was a great guy who passed away, so I figure I'd hold on to them. Uh, the first one I have is a real nice one. thought this was something I would definitely uh, cherish. Try to clean this up as good as I can. I always try to find something that would work to uh, polish this up as well. And uh, it does collect uh, fingerprints very, very easily. And, you know, like I say, this is one of them that I uh, had gotten uh, after Ken had passed away. So I definitely will cherish the, this one as well. Um, on the back of this, I don't know if you could see it or not, it just says award, um, award design medals uh, made in uh, Mobile. Uh, no, it's uh, Noble or something like that, but it's uh, Oklahoma. But yeah, it's a really, really nice belt buckle. Uh, I do have a couple of belts, but I try to find the right one for each, uh, for each buckle because you have to have a nice design for a lot of these, but a lot of these I'd rather hold on to and not use. Hey, Crystal, how are you doing tonight? Um, this one's a really cool one. Now this one, uh, I'm not sure the year on this one, but, uh, I, I've been trying, buddy. I, th like I was telling everybody else, this stupid phone, um, it only does report, remove, put user in timeout, or hide user on this channel. And that's why I want to throw this phone as far as I can. And it's stupid. And that's why I never, if anybody sees this, definitely, definitely don't get an idle touch three from Cricket. When a phone doesn't even let you do half the stuff, and even when you click on people, it's like, are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. Because every time you go to do the actions, it don't work. Oh, now it's saying I got bad reception. Uh, but like I say, um, for everyone in here, I do apologize because believe me, if this phone would, everybody would be having a wrench. And basically, the way my phone is right now, it will get a wrench. A bird in the hand, what is up, Val? How are you guys doing? It was awesome to see all you guys over in the other video. Um, hey, sis, my sister's on, Wendy. Um, but the dog wants out. Be right back. No problem, Def Drone. Anytime. Uh, yeah, I know it sucks because I know everybody's going nuts, and I'm like the only one who's going insane with a phone that doesn't even let me do that. I wonder if I could take one of these and whip it through the camera on this, but I better not. <laughs> okay, you're more than welcome. The door's unlocked, definitely. Um, the second one I got, uh, if anybody likes fishing, this one's a really good one. Whirly Burr, Grax, hey, what's up, bud? I'm glad to see you on here. And believe me, I do apologize. I am majorly apologizing for this phone not having nothing to do with wrenches on here. Ugh. Lori's idea. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. <laughs> Mike Brooks as well. Um, Yeah, this one, I think, I believe this one is uh, Drone Pool. Mike Brooks, everybody's in here. I tell you, this is now this is another good room. Holy shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> I believe this one is um, pewter. 
Um, like I say, this was another one after uh, um, my one sister's uh, uh, boyfriend had passed away. Um, you know, she asked me if I wanted these belt buckles and definitely uh, not going to wear this one or that other one that has the deer on it. These two are definitely uh, ones that will definitely not be worn. What's up, David? How are you doing? I think The Sims 4 killed my graphics card today. Oh, crap. It killed your Alienware? I'll have to, I'll have to check your, uh, your computer, sis. See what's going on with it. Doug is a regulator. That's right. I could regulate this phone, but then it wouldn't work anymore, and then it wouldn't be on here doing live shows, and then I'd be going insane. So I can't do that part, but that's an honor. That would be an honor to have that name. And believe me, that is what you call a kick-ass name. Yes, sir, everybody, sub up. Subscribe! If you like, subscribe down below. Uh, leave a comment. Um, hell yeah, brother. All the love for all you guys, believe me. This one's a really cool one. For all you guys who like drinking beer, as much as I do at times. Um, the Anheuser-Busch belt buckle. And now if this will focus in. Now you notice that this is not all metal. If you can see the outer section where the brown is, that's all suede. This is all suede. Or, no, actually, no, that's not cork. That's suede. Feels it. I don't know. I don't know if it'll focus. You can see the, the the texture of it and everything. I've never looked it up, though, but it, it's really cool. Not cork, though. Oh, there goes the cat doing his opera singing. Oh, great. As long as he stays in the other room, it'll be okay. <laughs> but, yeah, this one, I do like this one. Like I say, this one... And the other two that I just showed uh, showed off, these ones were his. So uh, these are definitely going to be kept in a box and uh, not used. Uh, like I say, it's it's more of a um, a memory. So I basically want to hold on to these and uh, just to remember by uh, the only thing it says on the back of this, so I can get this piece just move, move just a little bit. Do yourself channel. Hey buddy, what's up, man? Oh, you got some nice buckles too used to wear them all the time you still have them hey look better late than never <laughs> hey how are you doing tonight just stopping by to say hi well you can more or less say hi to everybody in here i'm glad you're in here because everybody is basically uh friends and family in here keith i thought you were going to bed <laughs> that's awesome man i'm glad that you came in heath you're the man you're the Mafia King, I tell you. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is there. Blashermere. Yeah, right? Love it. Damn right. Hunters. RC Hunter, brother. Window open, heating, just vent the room. You got the, you got the window open while it's cold out there, Kim? Too much of that talking of that pole, pork, and, you know... It should have been pulled pork. Well, that would have been a bad kind of a situation, too, in the whole entire conversation. But anyways, you know, the pole, the apple pie kind of deals, tatas everywhere. It's it's mass hysteria, Kim, I tell you. <laughs> but it's all good. It was all fun. You know, if I get that part back down. <laughs> pull riding apple pie. <laughs> Kim's like, that's how I roll. <laughs> but uh, now this one I have not opened. Yes, Taylor Ham. You you got to stop mentioning that, sis. And you were you were uh, rubbing it in yesterday. You said you actually had some in the freezer. Uh, mine's all gone. As soon as I get two rolls of that Taylor ham, that um, it disappears really quick. Well, it, mainly I think it's because when I when I make one thing of the Taylor ham and fry it up in a frying pan with sli you know slicing it up, I have to be the taste tester. So I kind of eat almost uh, <laughs> half of it while i'm cooking it but i'm making sure it's cooked right that's why i do it this one i believe i got this one this was uh oh, oh man it was a long time ago from marlboro now if anybody remembers um uh if you remember this uh on you know being uh part of their um i don't know if it was their giveaway or whatever 
through Marlboro, but basically this was way back when Heath is in the house. <laughs> um, but this was back when, um, well, I, I am, you know, a smoker, like I say, trying to quit. But a long time ago, uh, the only way that you used to be able to get a lot of their items from their uh, catalog or whatever they used to have, you would actually have to take the part off of the, yep, the Marlboro Miles, Infinite Altitude, yes. You had to save all your Marlboro Miles up just to get, you know, certain items that they had. And this was one of them. This, and, you know, I've never opened it. As you can tell, it's kind of it's been beat up or whatever. Backfire she does, I'm going to light it. You might want to do do that there, Kim. There's a lot of rooms, and you you know you want to save your house. If the poor dog lets one rip and you let it go, you might want to stand back. I think you, uh, NASA would want to find out where the hell they could find that dog and use it for the next launch. They'd be like, "That's the best propulsion system I've ever seen." <laughs> what have you been feeding it? I've been feeding it apple pie and pork. <laughs> um, the uh, the couple of items that I have are really cool. Um. Now these, uh, I'm not sure uh, how long ago these ones come out, uh, but they're a really cool design. These are uh, what they call high-grade lighters. The next fuel to Mars. Yes, they've been calling you, Kim, for the next Mars project. <laughs> Roxy Gas. <laughs> yeah. Do not, yeah, do not distract the dog while it's in motion. But the outside of the package is really nice. Now, this lighter um, was a really different design. Oh, I got the wrong one. Um, but uh, this one, I don't know where the... There's a little pipe that came with it. Um, but these are the BMW lighters. And they're actually really cool. This, I mean, they're older. But uh, they have the really nice BMW emblem on the front of these. I've said what I needed to say. Sleep for me, night all. Night, Heath. You have a good night, bud. Love you guys, man. You're the best. Um, I believe it's butane. Yeah, this is butane. Um, I wonder if it still works. Oh, it does. Yeah, I got these from my sister as well. They were really cool. Um, one, like I say, didn't come with um, the... Uh, the pipe with it but i thought these were really cool to hold on to you know little things like that they're oops they're always cool to, to hold on to and everything the godfather you know it be dead by now <laughs> now this one is made by uh stars uh starlighter limited edition um the uh if i can read the back of that let me let it focus in Part of it I will not be able to understand, uh, but it says keep away from children. It isn't a toy. Wenzhou China Star Lighter. Hmm. This one's uh, the one that's got the uh, the pipe in this one and has the BMW. This one is I like the uh, not the pure silver. Hey Doug, how are you doing tonight? Family just done really quick stream. House house on fire in town. Are you gonna go film it? 3 a.m. here. Love to all. Bird on hand, man. Thanks for stopping in. Breaking me in. Thanks for... <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. Drone worship. Where's the Where's the DeLorean Hot Wheels? I've got to get down there. Like I say, I've been waiting to try to get down there to Don's. Because I want to show you that, that DeLorean he's got. That thing is, like, awesome as heck, dude. And probably once you see it, you'll be going, okay, where do you live? How fast will it take for me to get there? I know it. <laughs> I know you'll be doing that, dude. Signing out. Take care, Doug. Greg's Whirly Bird, you have a good night, man. Oh, you did film it. When are you putting that up? Tomorrow? But, uh, yeah, this one, as you can tell, is a little bit different than... I do like that off-colored one instead of, uh, you know, they might look a little bit the same. But this has a darker tint to it. I like this style better than that one. It's up already. Oh, man, I got to go check that out. Fully engulfed, or was it like one or two parts? I wonder if this one works. Oh, yeah, that one works. It's a nice one. 
they're uh and i'm not sure what the year is on these like i say i got these as uh and then it has the little pipe it must be uh it's already been used but i thought it was a really cool little neat thing won't ever use it it just well, came apart quick that was easy hmm. might be looks like the end of it's kind of broken off or whatever over here uh, let me put that back. No, I found I found something for you for your uh for um MB ninety five TSI and regulators and also Captain Cook's live show they did did, did Canada da burger burger da. <laughs> hey remember that time now that's a that's an interesting time that only happens between sundown and sunup so remember that time yeah i don't think so i'm not, I'm not gonna find out <laughs> but uh it's yes crystal it is definitely doug itis time the um check out their uh their channels awesome people there's uh also crystal justice there's kim um you know rc fun and there's also uh you know tons of other people that are on here i mean captain cook and the regulators but definitely check out captain cook and the regulators uh, MB95 TS sign of regulators. Every Friday, there will be a live show at 7 o'clock. It is called the Drone Network, so definitely check them out. Um, and I will make sure that everybody knows that as much as possible to check them out every time. Now, the um, driving up that house, I saw smoke behind her block. You can say it was quite... A ways down but i drove over there everything was blocked off back of the house oh crap yeah it sounds like it was really uh probably going pretty well by the time you saw it but they had everything pretty much blocked off really well all i have is a mountain bike <laughs> all you got is some we won't tell anybody don't worry be okay but uh yes the uh item i found for your guys' show is uh see when everybody has the wrench everybody should have one of these and just be able to throw it <laughs> power lines were already catching on fire yeah that's yeah it probably started in the upper uh section of the house or lower section but usually the older houses will go up like a, a matchstick like really quick <laughs> dang tiny heck that thing's a big racer you'd like that one I wouldn't want to give it to uh, uh, Crystal, though. She'd probably whip that if you said something wrong. That's a pretty good size racer. No, you are not using this on me. <laughs> I'm hiding it now. I don't know where, but <laughs> I'll hide it out in the snowbank. But, uh, oh, Captain, I know uh, I was trying to show you this earlier. Is uh, Captain still in here? Um, do, 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 do. I don't know. Did Captain leave or is he still in here? All right, bud. No problem. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. Except my my phone keeps on screwing up. Yes. Okay. Now I hope that uh, this is one of the items I would love to sell you. Now this sell you? No, I'm trying to send it to you. Where the hell am I getting to send to sell? And hey, hey. Anyways, um, this is the monster truck Hot Wheels that I got for Cap Cook. As you can see on the bottom here, it says Pirate Cruise. Lots of howling going on outside. Probably got Koi Dows out. Uh, Koi Dows? You got Koi Dows? You got Koi Dogs out back in the cornfield again, don't you? But this was a really cool one. I, I had to get this for Captain. And uh, as you can see on the top, it's got the pirate hat, bandana sticking off the back of the truck. And... Uh, perfect little uh front hood which is the perfect pirate and that's yours bud that would be your perfect thing you put it right on your on top of your computer <laughs> and your own little flag up on top now if uh um hot wheels wasn't using that one that'd be your perfect one for your uh captain cook <laughs> and uh i thought that was the neatest one uh, as soon as i saw it i was like yep that is definitely captain cook's monster truck through and through. Now, if we can only build the real one for you, you know, even though there is the real one, um, we'll have to steal it sometime and get Captain Cook uh, inside it driving and yelling out the, the live show. 
But they have a couple other good ones in here. They got the Dragon, Grave Digger. Uh, of course, they have the uh, Max D. And uh, as you can see up on the top there, uh, if it'll focus, come on, you can do it. Come on. Of course, this phone is crap. I hate it. I hate it with a passion because it never wants to focus half the time. Soldier, as you can see right there, it says Soldier Fortune. Now, when you look at this truck up close, um, it oh, I swear it looks just like um, the vehicle from Halo. If a lot of you have ever played, you know, Halo on uh, Xbox or PlayStation, well, Xbox basically. Um, you have a good night, bud. Take care, big tiny. Um, there you go, bud. Anytime. <laughs> but yeah, this one here, if people have played Halo, uh, the game Halo, and if you look at this one, it does look just like the uh, Warthog. You know, I'm back. So cold out there. Even the Yetis are hiding. Oh, well, they probably are. You just, you know, <laughs> if you see a fire way out in the woods, then that's where you know where you could find a Yeti or a Bigfoot. Because <laughs> they're trying to stay warm. We need to uh, hook up and, and play Fortnite. Well, I got Fortnite on the computer. Um, I don't have an Xbox. I, you know, years ago. Um, if some of you have uh, found my uh, Facebook channel, um, I used to have, and now I could tell I was definitely a pure redneck. I actually had a car painted with real John Deere green and John Deere yellow, and I had John Deere 40. Uh, 4020 or uh, 720 on the sides. Big, humongous uh, um, harvester uh, decal on the top hood. One on the back was small. And uh, I drove that thing proudly everywhere. I even put it in a car show once. But the only problem was when you buy it from a, a kid, uh, you basically, yeah, my, my whole entire show area got taken over by my niece's stuff. <laughs> so it didn't work too well. Don't like beer, remember, Cap? Oh, boy. Fly bar. How are you doing, bud? Hope you guys are all having a good night. Oh, get out of that chair. Some of those kitchen kitchen chairs, they always give you flat assitis, and that hurts like hell, which is never fun, but... Fly bar, how are you doing tonight? Glad to see you over here, man. Actually, you know what? I'm glad to see everybody who was just over there at the live feed here tonight. You guys are awesome. You guys are like one big, if I could say, effing family. That would be the politer way to say it. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a privilege and honor to actually say this now. But now I am part of a regulator's family. So now I have to figure out how to say that a lot differently on there. Be like, yes, I am Doug Paulson and the regulators. But that'd be cool. We bring the heat. No, you already ate the heat. Well, unless you need the bag of uh, ice uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure on how much that stuff you ate, Cap. How much did you have? Just one piece? <laughs> Love is in the air. Don't say that too loud. Kim will get it. Uh, Kim will definitely. Yeah, Kim coming. Kim will definitely be getting out the pole. I don't have any pole here, so you can't take that there, Kim. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. That's awesome. I know I'm just keep walking around. I'm just like, do, 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 do. David, awesome. Glad to have you in here as also. Is also his sake out now. His sake. It gets past a certain time of night, guys, and it don't even need a full moon. I did right out the window. I just can't talk. All day long. No, get it right. I only do that on days and end in Y. Okay? It's not often, but it's okay. Hi, everybody. Now, wait a minute here. She wanted to say hi, everybody, even though she was over there. Hi. She's going towards the light. <laughs> I can't stop her. There's no way. You know what I found, though? Um,. <laughs> What I'm going to start using, guys, um, I should have found a couple more, and I think I can find a couple more of these. Um, to uh, who that? Oh, that'd be the wife. The wife over there. She's over in the corner. That's Kelly Paulson. She's hiding over. Well, if my hand would actually work correctly. I'm like pointing over this way, and it's that way. <laughs> but uh, I got to get you and or uh, Captain and uh, Chris one of these for uh, putting your notes in and everything. You know, notebooks, you know, just a regular National Guard kind of deals. These were good. But what? The cool statue on the shelf. Ah, okay. Let's see if this will work. Uh, Val, these were the one. I did show these off in one of my other videos. Um, 
the heck is that? It's a plow. Woo, plow going by. Woo. Yeah, we're getting. It's uh, it's coming down pretty good. But no, the uh, the ones that you were talking about, um, the one with horns. Oh, the big one. I think that's the one she was talking about. I thought she was talking about the other Vikings. Yeah, I put my hat up there. I, I didn't want to get it ruined. But yeah, those were Vikings, Val. That I had up there. <laughs> but the other one is Odin. The bigger one that I have, Val. That one is Odin. Uh, which he's like, uh, he's pimping out some uh, necklaces I put up on him. You know, just chill out for a little bit. But that is Odin. Which I got to fix a little bit there. She can be in trouble. Yeah, Doug does. <laughs> yeah. Um, but th they weren't a bad deal. I mean, for just doing a little bit of fix up. Uh, come on, my phone is going nuts. And all I did was move like what two feet. Kept on saying bad signal. Bad signal. She only has horns to hold up her. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm glad everybody's on here and. Uh, Everybody that hasn't, that wasn't here in Yazaka, Plardu, and it's over on the side of the Kershawasas. Remember that. It's only on Fridays. I can't help you. But anyway, you know, my camera's going to the side. Um, for those who weren't here last night, and my phone doesn't want to stay now, um, Wendy is uh, my sister, so if anybody wants to say hi, um, she uh, came in last night. And why has my phone got, like, weird lines going through it? You're welcome, Maurice. Um, you know, like I, I try to help everybody or try to tell everybody's name on here. Sometimes I do suffer from CRS. I'm probably not the only one. But uh, <laughs> there's Wendy. <coughs> but yeah, uh, sis, you'll have to let me know when you're home. And uh, yeah, she's the, she's the quiet one. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let me know, sis, when you have time, and I have time, and uh, I'll come down, look at the computer, and see what uh, what the game did, because it, it might be an, a simple fix. It might have not taken out the uh, the graphics card, because I'm running only a GTX 350, and I'm playing World of Tank, World of Warships, and and uh, World of Warplanes at, at highest graphic top that they have. So, this is the monthly one, mouthy one. No, I'm not. I can't even talk correctly. I can't be that way. Well, I can be sometimes. Not all the time. And yes, uh, sis, Val said she loves you. She goes, I love your sister. She tells us stuff. And I'm going, oh, oh God, no, no. <laughs> as long as there's no apple pie and poles and pork, we're all good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I... um. After answering the phone for eight hours a day, I give up talking. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, which, what uh, ship did you serve on? Oh, you have lots of stories. Oh, no. No. That can't be good. <laughs> oh, like I said, I'm never going anywhere, guys, as, I, as you'll find out now that she can tell stories. This could be a long YouTube. Oh, oh, no. No, that was not a that was not a fun day for me. I do not know how to, how the heck that happened. I don't know. And unless everybody wants to hear a story that would probably make them laugh. And the that, bat one? No. No. There that other story with the bat in the uh, apartment building? No. Android gaming. Hey bud, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> That's the problem. Always have to upgrade to play online. Yeah. Well, I know I had a uh, an upgrade for my NVIDIA graphics card, even though it's it's a low-end graphics card that was in this Alienware. Um, but it didn't upgrade, it, uh, I think, like three days ago, and I was playing World of Warplanes. I'm only 42, even though I look like I'm older than that. Um, uh, RC fun. But uh, the um, uh, it does play well. I mean, after it did the upgrade, it actually played pretty good for, for graphic-wise, but um, five years older than me. See, now she's a, she's letting me know that I'm old. Dirt. 
Oh, you got me by five years? Since, well, okay, so I don't feel as old now. It's okay, though. It's all good. But we do feel our age when we're younger. But, uh, yeah, um, it might be just a simple fix. Uh, how long ago, sis, did the uh, system go haywire for you? Kelly, Kelly, you don't look like it. You know, you're, <laughs> you're Kim. <laughs> you don't look at you. Wipe is seven years younger. I'm the old man here. Oh, Cap, we won't tell nobody. You might want to erase that that uh, post, and that way nobody will know. Five years apart here, too. Chris and I are five years apart. I got you beat. Okay, now, how old are you, Bob? I'm running out of air with this dog. <laughs> <laughs> See, you should have bought a gas mask. You would have been all set, Kim. Actually, you know what? Just, um... You got to have it set up where you can build some kind of strap system that goes around the dog that'll hold a Febreze can right by his butt. So every time he farts, have like a sensor right there and automatically hits the, uh, you know, the trigger. So it sprays out and every time he farts, it'll just be a breath of fresh ass, a fresh ass. <laughs> it's still awesome. Marcy Fun, where are you? David Smith, you're silly. David, yeah, how old, how old is David? 63. My wife is 16 years younger. Well, God bless you, bud. Well, that's like Matt. Uh, well, Max just today turned on Sims, made a horrible buzzing noise until I turned it off. When I turned it back on, resolution was all screwed up and said video card had been disabled for problems. Um, if it made a noise or something, it might have come loose from either the board or um well it's been a while since i cleaned the computer out you know completely for you um so i'll have to bring over my vacuum kit and um uh, go through it with the uh the kit that i have and check it out i can go through it and then you know check out the uh, graphics card it might be just a simple fix for you I'm buying some hot wheels today oh what kind are you gonna buy man Oh, yeah. Well, I can't remember. Well, there's one that uh, she did get me today, but um, it's actually... Uh, the, this one here is actually a, a um, basically the same one as that one, but I thought it was pretty cool still. It's the one that has the surfboards in it. But uh, they're really cool. I do like these ones, these kind of designs with the surfboards in it. <laughs> but um yeah i've got way way too many of them but i you know the other day i was almost thinking of uh you know going through and, and selling a lot of them my truck my truck my what oh she bought she bought me a pink car it goes along with the uh john wayne f fag where i said last night trying to make it look real good what'd you do with it are you sure? You're the one that gave it. Um, right where are my desk? In front of you. Oh, I'm doing good. Right in front of me on the desk. Oh my gosh. God, I wish I could feel like I'm 20 again there, uh, Cap. Gosh. I'm looking around for the cars. I'm like, where are they? Where are they? Right there in front of me by the TV. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm doing good. RC Fun Division. See, you retired Navy. RC Fun is. RC Fun, thank you for your uh, service uh, and everything. We appreciate it. Um, I definitely, as much as possible, as soon as I find somebody who's been in the service or still serving, I make sure to always tell them thank you. And that's what I think a lot of people need to start doing a lot more often is, is thanking instead of yelling, you know. Um, but it's a great thing uh, and an honor to always say, um, thank you for your service. And like I want to say right now, thank you for your service. <sighs> thank you both. Yes, thank you both. Sorry. Yeah, my um, tell Janan Jr. need new pictures. Okay, I will. No problem, Sis. I'll make sure of that. You're welcome, guys. 
Thank you, Neil, for ser serving as well. Yeah, when I was in school, I signed for the Navy. I did the ASVAB test when I was in BOCES, when I was taking these mechanics class. Uh, did the ASVAB test with no problem. Uh, was going to get ready to go into uh, uh, the basic training. And before all that happened, I decided to go with a friend of mine for a spin with his new Mustang hatchback. We slammed me into a tree at 98 miles an hour, and I had a plate put in my leg from my ankle almost all the way up to my knee. And they say, oh, sorry about your luck. Sorry about your luck. So that didn't work. No pictures, they color, please. Oh, pictures they can color. Pictures they can color. Oh. Well, hold on. Let me show you one picture I have up on the wall that Junior... Yeah, he has somebody from the school come and help him out, you know, and get him ready. And this was uh, Junior's first picture that he that he colored. Not bad. He almost tried to stay in the lines for a three-year-old. Didn't do too bad. I thought that was pretty cool. I was proud of him. I was like, okay. And we kept on telling him where to where to color everything. And you guys are amazing. Love you guys. Hey, we love you too, bud. Like I say, I love all you guys. You guys are like friends and family in here, which is awesome. It's a Picasso. Yeah, it's, that's why I made sure to hang this up. I put it right up here with the rest of the pictures. I got pictures from my daughter that she she colored, and she's got one that says Newt, Newt, or not Neuter. I almost said Neuter. God, um, she did a really good picture. I don't know if I can bring this one out. Because she likes to help the, the environment. So what she did was it says help nature, um, nurture or something like that. It says nurture nature, and it's basically the earth holding up all the garbage. And it says on the top help nature, uh, nurture nature or something. I think she was putting on there, but that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to help the world with recycling and getting rid of all the garbage. And that was the one that she first did. So I always, I always hold them up. You know, I keep them up here. It's a good wall. Android Gaming, you're leaving, bud? Well, thank you for stopping in, bud. I, I appreciate it. And I'll be, I'll, be, I'll, be tech, I'll be checking out your videos. Um, I try to check out as many as possible. Uh, like I say, having a full-time job, but having a family. I try to get to all of your guys' uh, uh, videos. Got to babysit a cat. Watch that to dry there. Oh boy, sounds like fun. Six more weeks, but get snow down every. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. She did a good one there, sis. And yeah, when I heard that the groundhog saw his shadow, I was like, <laughs> "Where's the 50 cal?" I was like, "Another, another six weeks of snow." I'm like, "Oh, that's what I really want to see." And it's showing it outside right now because where my sister lives, it's not far from me, but. Uh, down not on a mountain like where we live and so the weather's a lot different than up here but I, like everybody asked uh, like I said in one video when I was trying to show outside earlier bye Val you have a good night we love you and you take it easy don't have too much fun with the cat you gotta babysit Bob trapped the groundhog you know the one movie I didn't I didn't watch though was um was uh, Groundhog's Day I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I, I think I've only seen it maybe two or three times, and that was it. But, um, yeah, the wind up here, like, uh, I was checking on um, uh, one of the alerts that we had on uh, on my phone. It pops up, and it looked like it was good weather for the next uh, overnight and tomorrow. But down in the valley, well, one town over, not, not where my sister lives, but another town uh, that's closer. It said, "Well, it's seven degrees at the bottom of the bottom of the hill." You come up here and it's minus four. So I was like, <laughs> "That's right, Crystal, shoot him." Bob regulated some groundhogs. <laughs> yeah, I know that was the most messed up part, and they were talking about it, you know. And I was like, oh. "Now, we, now I know why." When you know, when I was young and worked on farms, they always shot groundhogs a lot. <laughs> now we know. Not only just because of the holes in the ground and everything, but I have a family of groundhogs that we see in the cornfield. Fun to watch. Oh, down in that lower section behind the uh, uh, behind you, right, sis? Yes. Mountain Dew ice. Good stuff. 
Ever since this came out, I tell you, it's it, I love it. And usually I don't drink soda. I don't really drink soda. I usually drink water and coffee. They're the only two. I'm still waiting for my possum slippers. <laughs> They're so big and mean. I'm going to go for my dog. Yeah, some of those are coming nasty. You got taste. Um, I don't know. I taste the Sprite, but it, it does uh, seem to be a little bit better. <laughs> You're not right, brother. <laughs> Bob's like, yeah, I'll tell you how it is. <laughs> You've been in Thailand and Singapore, PA. Huh. Yeah, that whole back section, there's more animals that come through behind my sister's place. There's koi dogs, deer, turkey, woodchucks. Uh, no moose yet, even though this is upstate New York, no moose. I have a video on turkeys. Check it out. Oh, yes, uh, Wendy. Check out uh, Kim. Um, got some really great videos. He had uh, also the um, the white geese uh, that were out in that field that one day. It was a great video. It was awesome. And um, uh, definitely check out MB95 TSI and Regulators and Crystal. Wendy, they're, they're great people. They're awesome. And uh, Captain Cook is really great. Like I said, Captain Cook and also MB95 uh, TSI and Regulators. Make sure to go and check them out every Sunday at 7 o'clock for the drone uh, report. No, I said that wrong, didn't I? Ah, oh, I can't believe I said that. No, did I say it right? Drone report. No, it's not the drone report. I sound like a news reporter. Live, the news. <laughs> the drone report. Buzzing area. A drone network. I know it. I know it. Leave me alone. I told you I suffer from CRS. <laughs> Vizai. Now, David, I've seen some of the your uh, footage that you had with your drone, and they're amazing. I mean, what great shots. Because between uh, uh, Worries and and David's, great ones. And like I say, definitely check out Worries I uh, Ideas. Uh, great ones as well. Check out everybody. You know, not in that kind of way. You know, we don't want to bring out apple pies, pork, and, you know, poles, but, you know, check everybody out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. But, uh, uh, I, uh, I did mail, mail you, uh, Captain. So, uh, like I say, after I'm done with my live feed, whatever, uh, um, oh, why do you guys say Taylor Ham again? Taylor Ham. Yes, we're going to Sinantries and getting some Taylor Ham. Definitely. Now I'm like hungry for it, even though I'm not going to. He wants to see a nipple. Oh, for God's no, no, Chris, mm -mm, no nipple rub. Mm -hmm. There you go. At least it's uh, it, I got my shirt on. <laughs> that was an interesting day. As soon as I seen you come around the corner, I was like, Woo, "Who's got a dollar? Never got a dollar." Chris got his shirt off. He's starting to strip. <laughs> Kim's got the pole. I don't know. Maybe. We have been good all night. Yeah, that's right. Good tatas away. <laughs> uh, Taylor ham, it's um, kind of like a Jersey kind of uh, food around that area. Um, but it, it, it's really good stuff. I mean, if you hear what I say, when it actually comes in, like almost looks like a, like a burlap sack kind of wrap, but it, it, it's... Um, uh, I don't know if my sister can help me on that one. Yeah, it's a Jersey thing. It's really good. Uh, I mean, if you ever had, uh, yeah, it's like pork roll. Yeah, pork roll. But they call it pork roll, Taylor ham. Yeah, it's really good. Oh man, the um, I know a lot of places just sell, um, just slices of pork roll, but um. Yeah, that that's not like this stuff. It's got the perfect taste to it. Yeah, country ham. Almost like country ham, but um Yeah, you guys would love it. Man, I'd be like selling that stuff here like hotcakes. Ham or pork? I don't know. It's probably hork. Uh, nah, it's uh, it's but it it's it's a ham. Oh, you can order it up? Where? You've heard of her you heard of her? You've heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. We have a place where you can order Taylor ham. Hopefully, she can tell me where it is. And if she emails it to me, I will make sure to email it to all of you. And then you'll have to let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like I say, I, it this stuff is amazing. 
It is amazing. Um, and, and now everybody's probably going to go, oh, you can order it? This is good. I mean, this is really good stuff. And once you see it, though, it looks kind of weird. It almost looks like a burlap sack. Got to look it up. No problem, sis. Like I say, email email the uh, site or whatever to me. And, um, yes, Canadian bacon is good. Um, when we used to uh, deliver the aluminum coils up to, uh, I would say, Alcoa. It's Alcan or uh, Alcoa uh, Aluminums um, uh, up in Canada. And I tell you, I do like the bacon up there, but bacon, I love bacon anyways. I could eat bacon all day. But, um, yes, if by bar, picture on that ash was everywhere. Ham yummy. Yes. The, uh, now, uh, hum, um, what drone do you have, David, that, uh, where I believe you were at one of the ocean sites, but I, I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't too long ago. I believe it was probably like three weeks ago. Um, but it looked really nice. I wasn't sure which drone that was again. Now I'm going to look. Breathe most of it into my lungs. What were you breathing in there? I missed it. Now I'm going to go back. Um... Came to Barrow where I was. We shut down Clark. What was secure, please? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Jerseyporkroll.com. Remember that? Jerseyporkroll.com. A serious question for the group. Scrap or spam? That's a question. Hmm. How could I answer that? Now, Scrapple, it's, it's got, you know... Um, there's a lot of different things that are in Scrapple. I mean, you've got, you got pig heart, pig fat, you got, um, different parts that will. What? Holy crap and holy. Where are you going to see money? I don't even have the money in my pocket. What are you talking about? And she's like, I'll buy it. He'll buy it for everybody. <laughs> um, but it's got, you know, a lot of different additives. Um, it's got, basically it's got corn flour, spices. Um, but you know, spam has a good taste to it, but with scrapple, it's, I, I don't know. It's different. It has a lot different taste that stands out more when you, when you fry it up. I, I, Cause when I tried frying spam up to compare it to scrapple, um, you seem to have a better taste with scrapple. I don't know if it's just the way the ingredients are. Jersey serves it in the restaurants, Taylor ham. Yeah, they do. I mean, that stuff is amazing. Uh, I'm, well, I grew up with it, so fried spam and eggs. Yeah, yeah, that's always good too. But it, there's, you know, like I say, with me, um, people from uh, that were down in, you know, Delaware area, Maryland area. But when I went down there and I tried it, it was, you know, something I had I'd gotten used to. But it was like after a while, I had a good taste of scrapple spam. You, you know, I also love too, but. Nothing beats Taylor Ham. So now that you saw my sister have that on there, you will definitely have to try that out. Fried scorpions. You ever try them? How are they? Good? Fried scorpions. Well, I've, it's got to be different. I mean, I ate like two big plates of uh, octopus legs. And that was good. Snowfall a couple years ago, I had to use a metal detector to find it. <laughs> you, had to, uh, you had to find it with a metal detector? That's never good, Kim. Get the metal detector out. I lost the damn thing. Cover them in chocolate, maybe. No, you got to have some like uh, uh, good hot sauce onto it or something like that. Andrew Zimmer of the YouTube. <laughs> right? I'm definitely going to check that out. I definitely have to check that out, Kim. But, um, spicy chocolate. Yeah. Actually, no, I would try the, uh, the very, very hot and spicy, um, honey that I have. Pour a little bit on that. That'd be good. Hey, time video. Yeah. Um, is that a newer one, Chris? What bird in hey, time video? Hmm. Different, different. What is the craziest thing you ever ate, Doug? Hmm. Let's see. I've had octopus legs. 
Um, I would say when I was out on the road with Jay, I think the craziest thing that another trucker had that I ate, if I could think of the name of the damn bug, it looked weird too, and I, I, I was like, oh, that's disgusting, but it was actually not bad. I mean, he had a bag of them. Um, what the heck was the name of that bug? Uh, now you got me thinking, because now I can't remember, and I don't even know if Jay remembers. Um, but it was, uh, it was bug probably about, well, it was about that big, it had good thickness to it, crunchy. Definitely crunchy, but it was good. I, I just gotta think of what the name of it was. It wasn't. It wasn't like um, uh, Captain's uh, cicadas. I think that's what you, the, we were talking about. There was a cicadas you were talking about, uh, Cap. It's a, it's about that size, but a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's about like that big around there. I have to remember what it is. Never ate. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You've eaten a mosquito or two. You know, if you walk along, all of a sudden you get a bug goes down your throat. That's always nasty. Oh, you eat them all. Not nice. They say everyone eats spiders when they sleep. Um, I think I'm going to buy... Honey, I'm going to buy a gas mask. You know, like, that'd be kind of weird. But uh, I did. I did remember seeing that. But that's just got to be weird. But you got to think, you've got a lot of, like, uh, wood spiders, um, all that other crap. But it's probably why I got this, so that way, you know, they'll get in there and just kind of hopefully kind of stay in there and not go that way. Or end up, you know, having go up the other way. That'd be kind of weird. Eat lots of bugs, riding a bike all summer. Yeah, that does happen. Oh, yeah. I remember riding Pops's, um Honda Shadow 1100 and the uh, Kawasaki Vulcan Mean Streak 1100. And I remember having tons of bugs. The only thing I used to hate was either a beetle uh, smacking you in the throat. That always sucks. I hated that. <laughs> Wind drag, yeah. Oh, no. Um, The wife's trying to have me tell you a story, which, believe me, um... They use your mouth as an outhouse leave before you wake up. Yeah, don't you love that kind of stuff? No. You got one too? Nice. Yeah, June bugs. I I don't know. Beetles have a crushiness, but I think a June bug probably harder. Yeah, throat punched by a beetle, it sucks. Usually you got an imprint, but there was one time I was working uh one place way over in sherman it was a trailer park place and working on trailers and down in the trailer park and driving trucks um a dump truck and a garbage truck all over and uh i remember me and uh my biology mom we got done late at night and i had this little toyota station wagon little you know but it was rear wheel drive it was an older one like an 80 something or other and um put some salt on it bob there you go and driving back, I was heading to Richfield Springs. I'm tired, and I had the window rolled down, just you know, not going fast, just going to normal speed. And this is the, this is the messed up part. I was driving along, and a bat hit the uh, the the mirror on the outside, came in, went down my damn shirt. And I'll tell you what, you want to talk about people spazzing out? Because there was my car, uh, some guy that was behind me, and then my mom. When that sucker went down the back of my shirt, I tell you, I looked like I was possessed. I went all over the place, went off the road, slammed down my brakes, ran out of the car, throwing my shirt off and everything. The guy was like, what's the matter? Are you okay? I was like, a damn bat went down my shirt. I was like, oh, my God. It was like, <laughs> and there it was. It was laying on my seat, but it was dead. But it just the way it hit and went down my shirt. I thought I had to check two spots, where the bat was, and make sure I was dry. She and mom couldn't do nothing. She's over there laughing her ass off at me. She didn't even come near. She was like, Are you, what the hell happened to you? I was like, I had a bat go down my shirt. Then she started laughing, and that was it. Never heard the end of that one. And then um, you always do weird stuff, you know, as you're growing up. We come back from work one day, and uh, uh, yeah, the one, the other time coming back from work, had my brother with me, and uh, my mom was in front of me and my uncle, 
going down the highway and we it was it was hot i mean uh me and howard just got done uh doing a half lap on the the funeral home that the boss owned in sherburn and got in the car we all left you know wasn't late late at night or anything it was still daytime and didn't grab a drink before i left so going back and um i think it was either my mom or my uncle first you know held up a mountain dew and i was like oh that's a guy you know i'll definitely grab one of them didn't see you know i didn't see somebody behind me so i was just like oh cool so i went on the other side of the white line i was like hey i'll get the drink from uncle robert and then go back behind him well i didn't know that um mom had told him oh loosen the cap before you toss it well at the time i didn't look real quick and when they tossed it hit the side of the car went all over and i didn't see him howard's holding the shirt up like this so lo and behold who got it and the windshield dash and everything else i had full soda all right and i think i only had one drop out of the whole can or the the soda bottle yeah so never never uh have um family ever try to give you a drink and you try to go on the other side of the road to get it <laughs> Kind of figured. Yup. Yes, indeedy. I know who. And I basically say, I don't give it. I do, but I'm like, like everybody was saying earlier over in the other show. Water under the bridge. Yeah, bees. Ooh. Yeah, bees were... <laughs> I remember them. But yeah, see, this was the car that the wife had to get me that was pink. I thought, okay. That was really interesting. Thought she was getting it just because of the John Wayne incident last night. Aha. Uh -huh. right, yeah. yeah, it's a nice car, except for it was pink. It was like, okay. But... Here you go, Chris. Now, even even uh, the regulators would love this truck. As you can see the top part there. You have the Barbie mobile. That's what it looks like. <laughs> see if it'll focus in. Come on. Got you. This thing is like a beast. <laughs> a salty old brat. That's interesting. <laughs> Yum. No, not really. It's uh, it just says off duty, but the front of it almost does look like a um, a Chevy if it'll actually focus in. Oh hell, doing it the right way. They don't usually open them up, but let's make this thing look a lot better on there. You know, front end. I don't know if the front end looks like a Chevy or not. Almost have a Dodge look almost, but kind of. Can't really tell if it didn't have that big push bar in the front of this thing. Nice little design. Yeah, I know. I opened it. Shame on me. I know. Shame on me. 1500 Yeah. It does look like it, don't it? From the top, the way the vents are on it and the way that style is. You know, the way the back of it looks. The avalanche. Uh, I don't know if it would look like an avalanche or not. I mean, it's uh, kind of like a 50-50. It's almost got parts of everything. Kind of like the Johnny Cash song. <laughs> Somebody got this one piece at a time. It, it does look like a Dodge Hood, but almost like a Chevy Cab, I think. I don't know. Let me know what you decide what you think this is. Even though it says off-duty, but Franklin truck? <laughs> yeah, that was a different one. Nice, but yes, I know I opened it up. Uh, that's all it says. It doesn't even say anything else. Just off road on it. Off duty. No, Malaysia. A lot of them now are either. Ooh, Jesus. See, that's why you don't open them up. Uh, 
a lot of them are uh, Malaysia, sometimes Indonesia. Um, you do find ones from China, uh, Matchbox, uh, mainly, I think, in between that. But So who uh, so who was getting uh, Hot Wheels again? I have to go back through. It, well, I know it wasn't RC funds, but um, I couldn't remember what uh, somebody was going to be getting. That was part of the song. <laughs> yeah. One piece at a time. I get it one piece at a time. All right. Hello, well, John. You are okay. And I'm also gonna open this one up. I gotta see. This is a. This is definitely. Yeah, the Barbie car. Ha ha ha. Get a pink car. <laughs> Zoom. Yes. Thank you, honey, for getting me a pink car. <laughs> so yes, now I have a pink car. Get them from when they get older. There you go. Now, if they're not all dinged up or scratched up, but even though that does give it character, just hold on to them. You know, uh, I still have one of the older uh, twin mills. Um, I believe it's a red line. Uh, it does have coloration uh, a little bit on the green, but uh, it's been in the barn for a very, very long time. And uh, so kind of got to expect that, you know the coloration and everything, probably the moisture inside the box or whatever. It was sitting on the top inside the box, so, yeah, it wasn't taped up, but it was just, you know, the regular way you would kind of close the box without tape. John, John be like, go get them matchboxes. <laughs> Mustangs. Oh, you know what? She keeps stealing all mine, RC oh, Fun. I do not. Um... Do you remember the one I was doing that had that Johnny lining that was inside the tin? Yeah. And I you were like, yet, yeah, yet. There's the key word. She <laughs> said, yet. See, she's like, I'm Italian, yet. But on there, you, and, and you were saying, oh, why isn't that one in my collection? Because it was in my collection, but yet she tries to take it. But I love all you guys on here tonight. It's great. I, you know, you guys have been awesome. And. I'm not going anywhere. I am definitely staying, and I'm not going to leave. And who cares about the thumbs down? I could give a, thumb, a finger up, but, uh, you know, it couldn't do that. <laughs> and probably a lot of us go, we know, we know who, we know who. Wait, I'm awesome. <laughs> Val. Val's in the house. Where have you been, Val? Were you hiding on us? I want to know who. I don't. <laughs> oh, you're with the cat. Oh, you're babysitting the cat. No, oh, that's not good. Now, if it farts anything like uh, Kim's dog, that would definitely be an apocalypse. I believe that would be an, a major apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, the cat. Troll time for him. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? The best part of a movie would come to mind for that one. Um, if you remember the uh, the one Mad Max, what is it? Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. If you remember the uh, the part, the one guy when they're in the uh, the cage area, and he's like, "Boys and girls, dying times." Yeah. <laughs> Two men enter, one man leave. Oh, now I gotta watch that movie. Now I'm like, ah, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. It just popped in my head that stupid part of the movie of one man enter, two man leave, and die in times. Yeah. Uh, I think that's Beyond the Thunderdome. I'm don't quote me on it, but I think it is. Master Blaster, yes. Master Blaster, what? <laughs> Tina Turner, she that was a really good... I, I did like her in that movie. She played a really good role in that movie. I couldn't believe it. And, um... I mean... The the older Mad Max ones, uh, I I still like them more than the, the, the new one that came out. I mean, yeah, the new one had some really kick-ass, you know, vehicles in there. Uh, lots of good action, but, yes, that was the one thing I do remember in the movie. <laughs> Love you, honey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 
But anyway, <clears throat> the uh, uh, I still like the the uh, the original car, which is an Australian Australian car, um, had the uh, police interceptor motor into it. Now you know w when you're younger and you see that, um, when you're younger, believe me, you're always like, oh, I want that car. And you know I've seen on uh, on YouTube on some of the uh, videos where people have actually um, had gotten the kit. Um, you can buy, you know, the full kit car in uh, Australia, have it shipped over and everything, and, you know, do your own work onto it. And um, some of the replica ones that they have out are, you know, they're really nice. Um, like, uh, there's Sean Brooks. Uh, I'm trying to think of, there's another movie that was uh, really good that had... Um, uh tdn i missed that pratt tdn oh uh, yeah mc where yeah where um I'm trying to think of them there's another movie that was really great that had some really good uh ghost grease dirty dancing oh you mean like you should have put like the little <laughs> in between there i thought it was like I thought it was like one movie there. I was like, what? Ghost Grease in it? Lightning? I'm like, okay, what was that all about? I was like, man, I don't remember watching that movie. That was just, that was like totally ballistically nuts. I was like, gosh. The, um, oh man, I'm trying to think. Um, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, now I can't think. Oh, Tim, the, um, I was trying to think, uh, with your computer, uh, I don't know if you have the gaming one or not, but uh, I know when I had gotten this Alienware, um, I'm waiting for this one, this keyboard to die, but it's actually working good. I mean, I take it apart, I always clean it. Um, I do have to clean it again, which I do apologize, it's got dust onto it, being I have the vent, the intake vents right here. But um, yeah, this is the one that has uh, different colors that you can do with the effects. Now. Alienware says that um, this one has over, oh man, you can do with the computer and the keyboard, there is over, uh, they say 10, if you go on the website, um, you can do 10 million color codes with it because of the fact of uh, all the lights can be changed to all different colors like my Alienware. Uh, symbol there's lights that are in the bottom of this on the sides you know and um no now my phone's gonna do it again come on you can do it and uh yeah see this is what happens when you go through tons of stuff and kids bring you rocks and going through this that is the only part that's messy in the whole entire house why because it's my computer desk <laughs> and i always no, the wife doesn't touch it. She's like, that's why I, I know where everything is. I know it's over here yeah, and over here. And there, what, me? No. Well, that's because I was trying to find something. Uh, I want a computer that will play games without sounding like an airplane taking off. Um, no, yours is very lightly uh, with the fan. With mine, when I shut it off or when it restarts, I think my whole entire computer is getting ready to go out the door by flying. It sounds like a jet motor. Every single fan, for some reason, when ever since I had the guy put the uh, other hard drive in when my uh, one terabyte hard drive went, and he put Windows 10 into it, I don't know why, but I've gone through the auto setup for you know all my temperature, uh, the sensors for the fans and everything that's in the uh, Alienware command center. And every time it does that it, it'll take off and it sounds like it's going to go out the door on me rc fun rc funds diversions oh is that his number ps4 only use the computer for youtube facebook oh okay okay <laughs> sounds like you're what your heat makes um but yeah the uh, when uh oh it's not oh okay um yeah when i when i originally got the computer it didn't come with a keyboard it just came with like a standard 
uh, kind of like the crappy ones that they always send you. Like, but you would think, you know, with a gaming computer, you would get a nice one. But when I bought this computer, and then I wanted to get the gaming keyboard, say eighty-five bucks for the uh, the keyboard, um, for the setup and everything, just for the keyboard, and I was like, oh, I hope it works well, but um can't really complain i've had the keyboard and the um computer for well over i think what seven years seven years now i mean yeah i've had the hard drive replaced and when it was under warranty i had uh one of the boards the upper boards uh one of the diodes had actually come off of it more than seven so we probably had it about eight years 12 years what is it? I'm so I suffer from CRS. Now you're really screwing with me. Okay, twelve years. <laughs> Kelly said she likes John Travolta. So Doug, what do you think of the new Wonder Woman? <laughs> no comment. Oh, what were we talking about there? <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes. Yep. Mm hmm. And I see, um, uh, I did watch the, um, the, uh, what was it? The, uh, the Justice League. That was a really good movie. Um, she was, uh, she played in that one as well. Um, but, uh, you know, there was a lot more action in that one than the, um, Batman versus Superman. Yeah, there was a lot more characters that were playing in, um justice league but I, I did like that one it was a really good movie that's me <laughs> maybe a book <laughs> uh oh yeah i know i i where did i wait a minute where what did i do with that eraser okay good it's out there in the living room i'm safe i'm safe for now <laughs> um but i thought there was also going to be coming out with yeah, they're plotting. Well, as long as she doesn't find one of those bigger racers online or at a store down by you, or we're both going to be in trouble. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> oh, man. Put it this way. When Laura Croft came out, um, did I say that wrong? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But um, Tomb Raider. I think it was Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. The two movies that come out, believe me, the that was the most perfect character for that movie for a lot of reasons. But and probably what I all I could say on that one. <laughs> oh, you oh he isn't? Where'd you oh man? Well, yeah, you gotta figure, you know, it's all action and, and you know, role playing and stuff, so That had to suck. I imagine once you meet somebody like that and you notice that they're a totally different person, you you know. The one with no hair. What are you talking about? A British accent. Who are you talking about? On Fast and Furious. Um. Ben Diesel? It's the only person I know that had a ball ball head in, in uh Fast and Furious. Um That's Ben Diesel. Uh yeah it is. Daddy Dave from Street Outlaw and the Phantom. Phantom 2 trans you did wait a minute is that no that, that was the yes that was the one that you showed me oh what well, now I'm hitting the front of the camera besides his hair plugs <laughs> his play hair plug show oh boy yeah that can't be good if he's got uh hair plugs going never good and now she's now the wife's got me trying to think and she's like 
British guy, well, British accent man who plays on Fast and Furious, threw the rock out the window, and he was in prison. Oh, now I'm thinking he played in, in the name of the king. Oh man, uh, he also played in the transporter. Um. He also played in Expendables 3, and I got his name in the top of my head. Now I can't remember it. No, not Vin Diesel. Um, the other British guy. Remember, um, uh, not Benny Hill. Smart ass. <laughs> yeah, Benny Hill in, in Fast and the Furious. Lots of girls will be in that one. Um, yes, Jason uh, Statham. Yes. Yeah, good actor. Uh, the only one I've got to see is... Um, the newer one he was in, the Mechanic Two, I think, is what it was. Uh, I did see uh, the first one; it was very good. Lots of melons, <laughs> yeah, it is hot, hot. Um, yeah, very, he was a good, he's a very good actor. I, I have seen in the Name of the King, but did they ever come out with a second one uh, of that movie in the Name of the King Two? I wasn't sure, but. Um, yeah, there was a lot of great... Uh, I did like Transporter, um, the ones he was in, and also uh, it was in a couple other movies. I'm trying to think of the names of them, but yeah, he is a very good actor. Um, like uh, Jason Statham uh, in some of the movies he does. Um, and of course, you've got to love Antonio Banderas in the movie Desperado. Who can't love that movie? That was an awesome movie. I do like that one. Um, but uh, yeah, there's uh, this, we were talking about this last night on different movies, different movies, cartoons that we grew up with. There's so many that we already named off and then try to remember them the next day. It's kind of like uh, I'd have to get back to you on that one. What is it acting to put? Spider on his head. <laughs> his last movie was terrible. Well, which one was he in? Dark Shadows. Yes, Dark Shadows was another good one. Man, who haven't you met, Cap? You probably met a couple of them. Yeah, the tattoo. Yeah, um... Where he was a rock star. I don't know. Which just reminds me of a Fantasy Island. Good show. Yes, Fantasy Island. You playing, you playing, boss? You playing? No, that was, uh, no, that was the right one. Fantasy Island. Um, and then you also had, uh, The Love Boat. Uh, that was another good one. Simon and Simon. Love Simon and Simon. Like I say, I would love to have that Dodge Ram truck. I believe it was a Dodge Ram Power Wagon. No, it was a Dodge Power Wagon. It was on that one. That was a real good one. Fall Guy. If anybody remembers the movie Fall Guy, that was another good one. He played in. Uh, it was a bodyguard for the movie studio. Oh damn, dude, you had a good uh, good job then. Way to go, Cap. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to think of another one. It wasn't called Fall Guy, but there was another one. Um, Hill Street Blues, yes. Uh, there was another one back then, too. Uh, remember that? Who? I don't know if he was trying to be a, a superhero or whatever. Um, remember how he could fly, but then he couldn't fly? He'd always fall out of the sky. He had a red suit on and a cape. What was the name of that movie or that TV show? Um because you always see him hitting into something when he couldn't fly and everything. And man, now I can't remember the name of that show. Had my own bodyguard service. What happened? Didn't you keep it? Man. Yeah, good. You had a good job, man. Hats off to you, man. Yes. Greatest American hero. I used to laugh at that one. That and um, man, now we're just bringing up the old times here. Jeez. Uh, man, oh man, now I gotta think. That's never good. William Cat. 
William Cat. Hmm. William Cat. Now you got me thinking, sis. William Cat. William Cat. Yeah, I know. She's always got me thinking. And I'm like, yeah, from okay, it was from Greatest American Hero. Okay, that was the one who played that. None of us have time to watch TV anymore. I don't even have cable. So all I got is YouTube and the kids. <laughs> Best TV cars. Hmm. Mm hmm. Cab over Kenworth, BJ and the Bear. Mm hmm. Because he got sports cars. But sports cars can't beat the crap out of other cars because you got a cab over Kenworth. <laughs> Although, you know, it can be destroyed by Airwolf, but um, I don't know. Yeah, the Green Hornet, that was, what car was it? That's, uh, that one had the back suicide doors onto it. Uh, well, I can't think of the name of the car. Mystery Machine, yeah. Batmobile. Question is, which Batmobile, though? <laughs> Cap has my bodyguard. Seen his arsenal. There you go. See now if you had Cap and and uh, MBT MBT. Where in the heck did I get MBT from? Hey, hey, we got a new person in the house. MBT. I don't know who that is. Um, MB95 TS signed the regulars. Now you got bodyguard, arsenal, and then you just have to get uh, the A team to build a big humongous vehicle for you. Well. Here's an update. Sawyer was born at what time? 1034. 8 pounds, Eight pounds two, ounces, 2 ounces, 21 inches long. 21 inches long. I'm an uncle again. <laughs> it's like, yay, she's probably all happy now. She, the baby has been born. I know what, I'm going to be uncle. I'm feeling older already. I think I just had a gray hair right there. It was a different color. Now it's gray. But yes, I'll make sure and I will make sure to tell those guys congratulations from all you. They'll love that. Yes, BJ and the Bear was definitely a good one. Um now I now I'll just have to wait and see when they send the picture to Kelly so I can see the baby and show it to you guys. What didn't go through? No, Oh, she didn't send a picture yet? Yeah, they're probably waiting to get her all wrapped up. They're checking her and Oh, yeah, check on Facebook. Yes, definitely have to show my family. My family. So that way you guys can see and, and my nephew as soon as uh, pictures come. Because like I said, we're all family here. I never subs. They're all Sam. They're all Sammy. Sammy! Oh, my. Doug, I just, I swear I'm going to get t-shirts made up. I just became, a, no. Oh, I can't even talk correctly about it either. I was going to have her right on there saying that I have Doug Itis. And they have a bad picture in the back or something. Uh, yeah, Chris is already laughing about that one. That was a good one. Oh, uh, man. Welcome to the world of... Welcome to the world of little guy. Thank you. Thank you, Deptron. Thank you to all of you guys. You know, it's always good. Monster Mobile. Now, didn't um, Rob Zombie buy the Monster Mobile, the original one? Um, and call. I think he calls it the Dragula now. Um... I thought it was the original one that was made for the for the show, but I couldn't remember. Regulators, text coming something awesome. Coming something awesome. Android Gaming Pro. Hey, bud. Welcome back. Car and iRobot. Car and iRobot. Oh, yes. Yes. Because I, I tell you, when you rack, you won't have to bur uh, burger the burger, 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 the bird and the burgers. Okay. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting hurt because it has the, um, that what was it, like a foam base that was, uh, that shot out into the car before he hit? Because it almost looked like foam when he pulled it apart. Electric hoverboard. That would be the cool part. Um, actually, you know, what would be the best car out of... TV show, TV show. Yeah, like a phone base, yeah. Chitty, chitty, bang me. Yes. Okay, okay, I got to stop that. You didn't see me do that. I love that movie. <laughs> um, who doesn't love Chitty, Chitty, Bang, Bang? Um, even though sometimes you get an automobile and you say it the opposite way, 
you know, um, Herbie. Oh, yes. See, now, the, the, the older Herbies are awesome. I know they made some newer ones, which those are... But they're nothing like the older Herbies, especially when, uh, what was it, Herbie Rises Again. I believe that was the one where they were getting ready to tear down the old lady's house, which was basically the old firehouse. And then all of a sudden, Herbie gets all those Volkswagen Beetles and everything that come come to the rescue. I think that was Herbie Rises Again. I'm not sure. Because I know they had made a couple of them. The Torino. Grand Torino. And the movie with... Um, uh Clint Eastwood. Beverly Hill, Billy Carr. Yes, that's another good one. John Yahtzee. Oh man, now we're talking about all these cars and everything. And I'm like, I'm glad we do have some of our memories still left. You know, that's the plus part. For you for you younger people who actually don't know a lot of these shows we're talking about, we do apologize, but they're really great shows that we had actually grown up with. And when you get to about our age, you're going to be doing the same thing, going, oh, man, those were the, you know, and those were good times. That's what you're going to remember when you get older. Back to the Future, the DeLorean. Now, the one that's down at Don's, um, well, I'm still waiting to get down there so I can do all the videos of uh, the cars that he has down there and have him bring out the uh, DeLorean. Now, the one he has, of Back to the Future, um, you can't even see my hands in the in the screen. That's how good size it is. It's probably, uh, but it's got a lot of detail. It does light up and everything. Um, the wheels, you can actually take the wheels off because it has, uh, it comes with the other section of wheels. So it makes it look like uh, from Back to the Future. It's it's basically from Back to the Future too, where it has the hover style. And uh, I know he has never put those on. So it's still just got the originals, but you can have it where you can put on the pieces that are, so it makes it look hovered, but there's a stand underneath for it. It's really cool. So you guys would really love it once I get all those down there. Fred Flintstone car. Yeah, I think we'd be really, uh, really sore from uh, pedaling that thing around. Christine, yes. Christine, it was funny because a lot of people I, uh, I used to laugh at because, well, not really bad, bad, but just, you know, like a giggle because some of them would say, that's a 57, that's a 57 Chevy, that's a 57 Chevy. I said, no, that's a Plymouth. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You can tell that that's a that's a Chevy from the ass end. I go, if you look at the style of those fins on the back of that compared to a 57 Chevy, you're way off. I said, that's a Plymouth. And then I would have to actually go through and, and show them a section of the car where it actually says in the front of the grill, Plymouth. And uh, they were like, well, how did you find it? I said, it's easy. If you watch that movie as many times as I watch it, if you watch where he, where he dies in that one scene and he's touching his car, I said, for people who think that it's, you know, a Chevy, it's a Plymouth. Because you can see the Plymouth emblem. You can see that big Plymouth grill, even though the Plymouth grill is throughout the whole entire movie. But uh, degree or Celsius in your, how much degree Celsius in your country? Temperature in my state? He's running. He's got to use the calendar box. That's what he always does. He runs down the steps like a bat of hell. If uh, if you're thinking about temperature wise, it's uh, minus. Uh, well, it was like minus uh, three or four. Now it's like five and six now up here, but thirteen degrees down there in uh, Maryland. Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah. Yeah, Gone in 60 Seconds, Eleanor. Eleanor was a really sweet car. Basically, it was a Mustang Fastback, and they souped it up big time. <clears throat> yeah, it's really cold here, uh, Android Gaming. It's really, really been cold. Uh, we're on the eastern uh, side, basically. Uh, I'm uh, northeastern uh, section, not in New York City. A lot of people say, oh, you're from New York? I'm like, no, that's New York City, but... I live in upstate New York, so way up in the country, and uh, being up on top of a mountain as well, it's a lot colder than down in the valley. Eleanor, yeah, Eleanor, yes, that was a good one. Um, 25 here in Virginia, it's warmer than it is here. In Bangladesh, 10, 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, now you got me thinking. 
10 degrees Celsius is a lot warmer. Uh, no, no, I gotta think. Now I gotta think. Now at least you got calm wind down there, Death Drone. Oh, she's still in, she's still in recovery. She's still in recovery. Heads up on the another update. She's still in recovery. Oh, 33. Okay, Cap. <laughs> yeah. Um, but probably uh, sometime we'll definitely uh, have pictures as soon as we can. Not so cold. Yeah, Bangladesh is 50 here. What? Yeah. Um, she said maybe by tomorrow. Uh, Kelly said by the time she does her live feed tomorrow, she'll make sure to uh, have a uh, picture up um, so that way you guys can see it. So I'm hoping for that part. That'd be really good. I can see my grass. I haven't seen grass here in a while. The only time I see grass is when the wind blows and all the snow goes away. Just clean the leaves here. Yeah, Captain's. Well, what's your what's your lowest temperature right now, Cap? That you have down there. It's probably still warmer than up here, but. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'll take your fifty you got down there, Chris. You can bring it up here. I'll trade you uh, weather. Back and forward. I'm I'm not uh, greedy. I'll share. I'll make sure that you have this weather for a little bit. It's nasty. I hate this minus crap. I, I mean, it's a it's a lot better than the minus thirty that we had a couple of weeks ago. That was even worse. Last grass I saw was a neighbor's bag of. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Bob. You got down to fourteen. Nah, that's still, that's cold down that way. <laughs> Definitely. What? There's a what? Yeah, that's, I, yeah, I can't believe the live show you guys did tonight and had a thumbs down on it. One. Mine too, right? Yeah. I don't care. No sweat. I'm not worried. Any of you worried? I'm not worried. Nope. Exactly. I knew who all my true friends are. Do 100 in a month. Wonder who. Kind of gets the point where, you know, blood boils about that high. Hmm. Good thing I got, uh, Blood, uh, blah 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 blood pressure pills let's go how's it going bud congratulations i seen the other day that you had actually want you uh got something from uh uh i love trading it's awesome congrats man shut up cat well you'll be all right and uh and definitely everybody check out i love trading uh he's been doing great stuff and he's an awesome guy so but like i say to each their own if they do thumbs down and uh but um been long enough so i figure you know i hope everybody has a great night a great day Blasco, enjoy your your gift that you had won so uh like i said congratulations to you bud love it got a got a bite and you know, you know who are yeah not my first thumbs down exactly not my first rodeo but uh like I say, I love all you guys. You guys are family. And you're the best friends that uh, people can have. And uh, I'm glad, you know, this is the best thing. And basically now, um, it would be awesome to uh, um, show off the uh, regulator's name for all of you. And uh, it would be an honor. So uh, I would like to say love all you guys and wish you all a great night and take care. And like I say, uh, uh, Cap, if you got a number on the email, bud, give me a holler. Uh, I'll be up for a long ass time. Four o'clock in the morning sometimes. Love you, sis. Have a good night. Let me know what day you want me to come down and check out the computer. <laughs> Love you guys. Take care.